welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we are going through the Bambino Plus as well as the Bambino. So these machines obviously look super similar, but they are quite different. The main thing being the water tank capacity and the milk frothing wand. So the Bambino Plus here has a 1.9 liter reservoir just located on the back. The Bambino has a 47 ounce reservoir located on the back as well. They do have the same footprint. Um, it's about 7.5 inches in width and about a foot in depth and a foot high. Um, so they are very small and compact. Neither of these units have a grinder on board, so you would need to pair it with a grinder. Recommend the Smart Grinder Pro. Um, and if you were doing the Bambino Plus, you would be able to get it in one of the Lux colors and pair that with a Lux colored Smart Grinder Pro as well. Um, the Bambino is not available in the Lux colors. That is just available in the stainless. The steam wands are different, obviously. This one has the automatic frothing wand, so you are able to froth the wand, hand, froth your milk hands-free. Uh, you can program or set your temperature to be low, medium, high, as well as your froth or texture level to be a low, medium, high. So anywhere from almost no foam up to very frothy cappuccino foam. On the Bambino, um, it is a more traditional steaming wand, so you would need to texturize the milk yourself, incorporate the air into the milk yourself. So there's a bit of a learning curve with that one there, much like the Barista Express. On this one here, so you have your single shot and your double shot basket buttons there. So if you're going to be pulling a single shot, you can program the volumes on all, both of these machines. Um, it won't you know, it's to your preference. So if you are somebody that wants an extra long single shot, you can program your single shot button to be two ounces if you want. The Bambino Plus does not dispense hot water, but the Bambino does, and it will come out just out of the steam wand here. Um, so you will just need to press the water button and then you can dispense it that way. Um, both of these come with 54 millimeter portafilters and they only come right now with the dual wall or pressurized basket. So you won't ha get any single or unpressurized baskets with the machine. I know that they are compatible with some um, unpressurized baskets that we carry, some 54 millimeter. So if you wanted those, they are available. Um, but since these don't have the grinder on board, it is recommended to use those dual wall or pressurized baskets to achieve that you know, beautiful crema. So the Bambino has just been on the market for a little bit now, uh, just brand new. It's a great machine so far. We um, haven't had any negative feedback on it right from the get-go, which is nice. Like I said, it's very small and compact. So if you're in an apartment, this is a perfect machine for you. You just need to pair it with a good grinder. Smart Grinder Pro would be your best option since you have quite a range of espresso available to you with that grinder. Another one with the uh, Bambino Plus. So since it is an auto frothing wand, if you don't want to learn how to froth milk, the Bambino Plus would be your option. Um, the better option for you. The Bambino Plus, this comes with a two-year warranty through Breville, and the Bambino comes with a one-year warranty through Breville. Um, like I said, we do carry those, you know, dual, the unpressurized baskets if you wanted to use those, so you don't necessarily have to go through Breville for those. We do carry that, but that wouldn't be something covered under warranty anyways. Both machines come with your portafilter and those two baskets, the single shot and the double shot pressurized baskets. Both have a three second heat up time as well. So that's, you know, it's ready to go as soon as you turn it on pretty much. Uh, your milk steaming junk, jug, milk steaming jug as well, uh, the stainless steel one from Breville and some starter cleaning supplies. So you pretty much get everything you need to start uh, when you purchase this machine, you just need to supply your coffee, a grinder, if you don't have one, recommend purchasing one, um, and your water, and then you're set, you're good to go. All right, so we talked a little bit about the differences and similarities between these two machines, and now we're actually gonna brew some coffee um, and steam some milk on them and see the differences there. When I was dosing out the espresso, I did realize a difference in uh, weight with the portafilter, the Bambino Plus portafilter does have a better weight to it and as well as um, the Bambino Plus has a better tamper. It is the standard like magnetic one but there's no magnet for you to uh, actually put this tamper in there. The Bambino just comes with a, a plastic tamper so it's a lot lighter in weight. If you are wanting um, 
I would suggest maybe getting a, a new tamper with this machine to have one that has a little bit of a better weight to it. So I'm gonna brew them simultaneously. Both of them have their double shot baskets in. It is the pressurized basket. So we're gonna see how she does. These machines have just been turned on for the first time. So they've been primed, they're ready to go, but first shot out of them. So let's see. Okay. And they did heat up in three seconds, almost immediately they were ready to go. All right, so almost completely identical shots. Um, this is what happens when you don't have freshly ground coffee. We used uh, pre-ground coffee that we had. This is why I would recommend getting a grinder with one of these machines because you'll notice that pour was kind of fast and the espresso is a little light. Uh, it still does have an okay crema on it. It's a little foamy. Um, I would recommend, yeah, buying a grinder on the side with these machines, M mostly the Smart Grinder Pro, the dose control from Breville would also be a good option for you. Okay, and now I'm gonna froth the milk on the Bambino Plus first. So I'm actually going to make some adjustments though, just to show you how to do that. Uh, so on this machine here, I can increase the froth temperature by clicking here. So if I'm low, medium, high, I'm gonna leave it at medium just because. And my froth, I wanna see what it's capable of. So let's put it all the way to the top, okay? And then I'm going to press my steam button here and it's going to texturize and heat my milk for me. All right, and now this is also going to auto purge for me too when I put this down, just like that. Okay, so that is some really, really foamy milk. It's very thick foam, definitely cappuccino foam there. All right. Yeah, that does a nice job. Very nice. All right, now we're going to steam the milk on the Bambino. Now this is a more traditional uh, steam wand, so we will be texturizing the milk ourselves. I like steamy milk, so I personally prefer this, um, but let's see the power of it. It does look exactly like the Barista Express's steam wand, so let's see if it holds the same power as that. All right, so now we're going to steam on the Bambino. Uh, like I said, more traditional steam wand, so I am going to incorporate the air into the foam and the milk myself. Uh, all you need to do is press the steam button here, so it's the second button, and it's going to spit out a little bit of water first. This seems pretty powerful. I just pressed it off because I do like to do a purge before I start steaming my milk. All right. Yeah, okay. And now I'm going to insert my steam wand. Oh yeah, it's exactly like the Barista Express. Wow, this is great. Yeah, this is a really nice steam wand.
Right now I did notice that it took a little bit for it to start to power down the steam. So I'm going to press it now. And now I'm going to feel the steam start to dissipate. And now we're done. All right. Oof. That looks like paint. That is perfect. Really like this steam wand. Oh, it's like marshmallow foam. Fantastic. Wow. Okay. Super impressed with this steam wand. I was expecting it to be very similar to the Barista Express, but that was unbelievable for such a small machine. Um, if you're somebody that is interested in steamy milk or wants a good latte, but you know, doesn't want to spend as much as the Bambino Plus here, and you don't mind steaming your milk yourself, this is a fabulous option. Really, really love this machine. Again, no grinder on board, so you would have to pair it with the grinder, but I am I super impressed, super impressed with that steam wand. Overall, uh, both very, very good machines. This one does give you more automatic features. Having that auto frothing wand and being able to customize your milk texture and the milk uh, temperature as well without having to do anything, any work yourself is a really nice feature, especially for people that want a nice latte or cappuccino, but don't necessarily want to know how to steam milk or want to learn. The Bambino, I am, I said it before, really impressed with. The steam wand is fantastic. The quality of shots from both was the same. Um, like I said before too, the Bambino Plus does have a heavier portafilter and a better tamper. Um, and the Bambino has a lighter portafilter and I, I would get a, a new tamper with this. Um, this is just the plastic one. Uh, overall, both really, really great machines. Can't wait to see what customers are thinking about the Bambino. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them below. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content from us. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.